In some areas, knifings and shotgun attacks are commonplace. But recently, gangs and gang warfare has started to spread outside the capital. In Birmingham, the Sher e Punjab and Panthers, two of the biggest gangs in the Midlands, are inflaming old tensions between the Sikh and Muslim communities. Fatima Salaria investigates. Well, most of this causes by the Pakistani community itself. When young, pe young people go out of schools, I'm on about ages around about 19 to 20. They go in their fancy sports cars, hang about. We don't want them going out with Pakistanis, right? We know what happens to them after. The Sikhs will might not admit it or whatever, right? But there's a lot of Sikh girls going out with Muslim guys, and they don't like it. We've grown up here, and we think we can mix with anybody if we really want to make a relationship work. So their attitude is, you know, from the dark ages, I don't know why suddenly they've decided that they're Indian and that's how they want to stay. Birmingham is not a city that's usually associated with gang warfare, and such tensions within the Asian community are even more rare. But over the last few months, there's been a dramatic increase in tension between young Muslims and Sikhs. They form themselves into two gangs, the Panthers, who operate in the predominantly Muslim area of Aston, while the Shiri Punjab stronghold is a Sikh-dominated Hansworth. The trouble started when Sikh youth began making allegations about the conduct of the Panthers. Shafak Hussain is a local community worker who's been dealing with the gangs for some time. The starting point was that some of the uh, allegedly sh the Sheriff Punjab had leafleted out saying that the uh, Muslim youths are coming around our schools, they're um, you know uh, abducting our girls, and uh, you know they're they're raping them and then putting them in prostitution. <laughs> And it was these allegations which sparked off a spate of incidents involving the two gangs. Panthers were formed in 1981. They claimed they came together to protect the Asian community from racial attacks. We had a lot of trouble uh, with the skinheads them days, and we used to fight with the skinheads. And uh, there was a group of us, right? And first we didn't have the name, but after we, we just thought the name, so we thought we'd have a name, like. The Panthers vehemently reject claims by the Sheriff Punjab that they are forcing Sikh girls to go out with them. They go out with us from their own free will. If they don't want to go out, that doesn't mean that and we do not rape them. We do not embarrass them in any such way, as, we, as they have been saying that the Muslim youth do. Whatever the truth of the matter, it's clear that many Sikh youth resent Muslims going out with young Sikh women. In May this year, they formed the Shiri Punjab to try to stop such liaisons developing. Our aim is to get all these schools free of people standing outside them. We want to normal life. Girls can go to school, come back home without being picked up and taken out to town, taken out to discos, stuff like that. As long as that stops, we're happy. The evident desire to stop Sikhs and Muslims mixing has led directly to clashes, and innocent bystanders have inevitably become victims of this growing menace of gang warfare. The Guild Arms is a well-established public house in a quiet part of Aston. But in June this year, a large gang of Asian youths, disguised in masks, burst into the building. Well, I was working behind bar when 30 to 40 youths came through the lounge door and they just started smashing up everything. Gambling machines were, and chairs, tables, glasses. I smashed up all that and a lot of furniture was smashed and all the windows. They smashed every window. We heard a rumour saying they came to look for somebody, you know, some sort of gangs there is. There wasn't local, that's for sure. Mm. It's against this background of violence that the most serious allegations have been made. The Sheri Punjab claimed that young Sikh women have been abducted and raped. They say they've given evidence, including names and the number plates of the offenders' cars, to the authorities. 
the police promised us that they'll do the job if we step out of the way. And we stepped out of the way for a couple of months. Things just happened in the past couple of days. And information was passed to them, and we haven't heard nothing being done. Network East approached the police in Hansworth. We asked Chief Superintendent David Love whether he'd received any evidence. Personally, no, and I certainly don't know of any being received. Not in the specific terms that you're saying, in terms of vehicle numbers. And have you ever been given any information regarding the, the rates or the abductions of women? To the best of my knowledge, no. In this prostitution and drug trafficking, uh, it's ridiculous. I mean, there's nothing there which, you know, which in evidence, uh, and also the, the youngsters that you're dealing with uh, every day, there's no way that they, those people will be involved in any, anything like that. Amidst the claims and counterclaims, the only views that have been ignored are those of the alleged victims, the young Sikh women. I think it's certainly stupid. Why? I mean, it's a, it means a free country. Anybody can go out with anybody. I mean, I mean, I was a, well, these Sharia Punjab came up to me as well. And uh, I was going out with this Muslim, right? Well, I wasn't actually going out, but somebody, was, he asked me out, and then the Sharia Punjab came up to me and started saying stupid things. Oh, you can't go out with him, you know what I mean? They can go out with whoever they like, so, you know, why are they stopping us? They shouldn't stop a Sikh boys as well, shouldn't they, if they're going to stop Sikh girls? In spite of their opinions, it's clear that the young men are determined to stop Sikh girls going out with Muslims. And the tension, it seems, is set to continue. I mean, if the Sikh, Sikhs go out and beat people up, say that don't go out with this girl because she's Sikh girl, that cannot be done, that will never be done here in England. I mean, this kind of small incident could escalate in the wider community. And, you know, the the pre-47 tensions between Sikhs and Muslims could have come across. Well, if it things carry on as if the daytime just goes open again and then people go outside the schools, exactly what happened before, the same thing's going to happen because there's no way we're going to back out of the way now.